Um, they did some research and figured out that Mars, it's pretty decidedly so that Mars was struck by an asteroid or a comet or something huge like about four billion years ago or so in the northern hemisphere near the magnetic pole, I'm sure. There's a huge crater. Uh, it's called the Borealis, like the Aurora Borealis, the Borealis Crater. So I think what happened was, I'm going to attach a video of a simulation of what would happen if a huge comet struck Earth, like the inside of the planet comes up, bur bursts up and out, and it's like this, fly, this liquid, like red hot molten iron rich mass matter elements and it's like magma up into the atmosphere and then it's the earth holds on to it gravitationally it sends it all around the planet and the whole planet is covered in a red ash molten ashy like just destructive hot cloudy wind of bursting fire and that's I think I assume that that's what happened on Mars about four billion years ago and that's why there's rubble everywhere and why it's red. So I'm thinking if we dig down and it's about two it's about two miles the crust is two miles thinner in the northern hemisphere than in the south, where it, the crater struck, or where the the comet or the asteroid struck. So I'm thinking if we dig down about two miles or one mile, one mile in the southern hemisphere, we should break through this outer cakey layer of crust of like a mass of crap, of like iron heavy dead mass, and get to a healthy, a rich planet underneath. The Martian surface is uh, oxygen rich soil. Underneath this, it's been compressed a long time, so we may have to dig down, but I think. It's only two miles, and that can breathe, and there's ice on the surface, so there's water all down through there. There may be huge caverns under Mars. There's probably huge caverns when we start digging. A lot of moisture. So there's the cakey layer of, of magma that we got to strip away, man. Let your imagination run with it. Hey, so I'm thinking then if uh, we dig down straight down, I'm thinking we need to dig away the brittle surface of Mars, this iron, sulfur, sulfate face mask. It's, it's dirt mud mask on Mars, we can chip it and break away, it's so dry and brittle, and the scientists are like, really, the people are like, where'd all the elements go? The water must have went straight down through and s carry the elements down in with it. And that may be possible on the small scale, but I believe really what they're doing is the surface that they're testing that they think is the, the natural surface of Mars is that cakey layer of iron. So they're not getting the nutrient-rich soil that they think they are. It's not the same soil, it's an outer layer before they're going to get to that soil. So I'm thinking if we dig down, we can grow crops underground. And then I was thinking, but we, you need sunlight. It's going to be moist and cool. And we can reflect sunlight underground. If we build reflective systems, we can reproduce natural sunlight underground for long stretches so with mirrors, things, electro mirrors to keep the light fresh.